Hey everybody, welcome to Takeout Tuesday. Deacon Jim here. Hope you're doing well. Today is Monday, uh, January 17th, and we're celebrating the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King holiday here in the United States, which began officially in 1986. Pastor Steve um, talked about this in his sermon yesterday and how um, Martin Luther King got that name, Martin Luther, from his father visiting um, Germany and learning about Martin Luther in the Reformation. That's really interesting. You might want to take a look at that. <clears throat> but also yesterday, there was an ecumenical service held at the church uh, three in the afternoon. It was also live stream if you want to see that as well. But that was very powerful. There was a keynote um, speaker, the minister, Charles Winston. And, you know, he talked about his mother and father. So it wasn't that long ago who worked for somebody else, scrubbed floors. Um, and it was just a reminder to me that the change in our own culture hasn't been that long. In fact, I was just reading that it wasn't into the year 2000 here in America where all states adopted today as the Martin Luther King federal holiday. 2000 is not too far, uh, too long ago. There's still room for us to grow and change. One of the things that stood out again yesterday was the idea that <clears throat> Dr. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King was first and foremost a minister of the gospel, a Baptist preacher. And so many things of what he did and what he said came uh, uh, from and was rooted in his faith. And that was powerful again to be reminded of. I had a couple quotes that just stood out to me again, worth mentioning. Uh, one says here, um, true peace, true peace, this is um, Martin Luther King, true peace is not merely the absence of tension, it is the presence of justice. Another one, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. And another one. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, an extraordinary man who did extraordinary things. Um, in the name of our dear Lord. So I give thanks uh, today for his life and all that he's done um, to make the world a better place. Thanks.